at some point in your life, you have to realize that some people can stay in your heart, but not in your life. But be strong enough to let go and wise enough to wait for what you deserve. For love cannot be measured by how long you wait. It's how well you understand why you're waiting. Just like you wouldn't give a book to someone who doesn't know how to read. Don't give your heart to someone who has continuously proven that they don't know how to love. For I do believe that every woman and man, no matter who he or she is, or what he or she have done, and where he or she comes from, they both deserve someone that can make he or she forget that their heart has ever been broken. But a bitter woman will always say all men are the same, but a wise woman decides to stop chasing the same type of men. A lady once says that my attitude will always be based on how you treat me, but never chase love, affection, or attention. If it isn't given freely by another person, it isn't worth having. But how will you know if a person truly loves you? Your answer is, it's when he or she brings you closer to God. If he or she isn't challenging you, making you better, or driving himself or herself close to God, the question is, why are you still with him or her? The greatest thing a man could do for a woman is to lead her closer to God than himself. The same also goes for a woman. For a true spouse or a friend, don't hinder your relationship with God. They encourage it. A husband can love his wife best when he fully gives himself to God first. And the same goes for the wife. So attract what you expect. Reflect what you desire. Become what you respect. And mirror what you admire inside the will of God. So don't go outside of God to get something. Because you will have to stay out of God to keep it. Some friends, some spouse out of Christ won't be loyal to you. They are loyal to their need of you. Once their needs change, so does their loyalty. Relationship should draw you closer to Christ, not closer to sin. Don't compromise to keep anyone. God is more important. For sin takes you where you don't want to go. It keeps you longer than you want to stay. And it costs you more than you want to pay. So be with someone who will take care of you. Not only materialistically, but take care of your soul, your well-being, your heart, and everything that's you. So remember now that I, Kenville Moody, say this, not to glorify self, but to glorify the Lord, that decision become easier when you will to please God or ways your will to please a friend, a spouse, your family, and the world. For the one who can truly satisfy the human heart is the one who made it. So my friend and my friends, my brother and my sisters, a God-centered relationship is worth the wait. Isaiah 40, 31 stated like this, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Wait upon the Lord, I said, for he will not withheld nothing that is good for you from you. So today, I beseech you, dear Lord, protect us from the things and people we want if they do not complement or walk with you and in according to your will. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for watching. Keep sweet in Jesus. Peace.